Hi, I'm Susie, and in this video, we're going to get happy with Happy Gel. Let's get started. Happy Gel is the brilliant idea of combining acrylic with gel. Together, hybrid Happy Gel. I've got all these nails removed. I'm going to do three because there's three colors. And Max Estrada Exclusive Nail Couture has beige, pink, and clear. So I've got three nails naked, so we can do all three colors. I prep the nails completely, and we're just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna use a form because I wanna lengthen them. Okay, let's start with this one. Now I've got three different colors. Hmm, I'm gonna do all three, so it doesn't really matter which one I start with. I'm curious to see the clear, because often clear is very hard to make clear clear. Let's see what exclusive nail couture is calling their clear. Some call natural clear and you know stuff like that to indicate it's not supposed to be super clear. And exclusive nail couture calls it crystal clear. So it's really different when they're developing these hybrid gels. They're coming in tubes. There is a spatula. Exclusive nail couture has made a spatula and you can just squeeze it out. And depending on how much you want, you can literally just scoop it off and then you apply it to the nail. That was actually quite soft. It was very easy to squeeze out. Then I have two options. I can use monomer as my softener to, to shape it or I can use alcohol. So I've got two dishes here. The clear one is alcohol and the pink one is monomer. So I thought we would see which one works best. So I'm just going to get a little pad full of alcohol in case I just need to wipe it off. I think that might be from my acrylic background, just because i sort of used to doing that. Gel's a little bit different. So we have two options. We can work with monomer or the alcohol. And I'm going to be working with a gel brush, and then I'm going to switch over to an acrylic brush and see how that works. Okay, so I've got the blob on there. All we have to do is shape this blob. So let's try with alcohol first. Now for aesthetics, I'm not a big fan of using clear as a whole nail unless I want to completely see through that design. But I'm going to use that in this because, oops, I used too much alcohol there. I'm going to use that because I just want to be able to see the color. We're just trying it out. Well, it works very well with alcohol. You don't have to push down very hard. It's actually quite pliable. And as you can see, it just kind of molds wherever you tell it to go. And it's not hardening up like acrylic would. When you put your bead down on that nail, it starts drying instantly and you've got to really um, start shaping before it cures just in the air, right? Whereas this, being that it's mostly a gel, it needs the lamp to cure. So you can play with this all day. You don't nuke it until you is ready. Now, I'm shaped this like this. Obviously, I need more. But I'm just going to see if I can add any and if that will affect it all. A lot of times when you're using gel, you want to cure before you add more. Let me see if this just allows me to add more. I got the feeling it's going to be all right. Okay. Sometimes I just get lazy and want to squirt it onto there. But I don't want to disrupt what I've got here. So I am going to use the spatula right now. I don't need too much. I noticed I wanted to get a little more near the cuticle. It really is quite soft. And I don't mean soft as in it's going to break. I mean soft and very pliable to work with. So I'm going to push this into the cuticle a bit. I'll move these down for camera. I don't really like these to be down like that because it's harder to get off. But it might make it easier for you guys to see. That's better, thank you. <laughs> And I'm going to rest it on here so I don't shake. There's a little tiny dot in there. i got to get it out. Usually when you do this with acrylic, you're racing against time, but there's no need to hurry. You can just relax with this stuff. It only cures when you're using the gel light. Okay, I'm going to add more. I need some more. It's quite easy to get out of here. It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. You know, it 
kind of reminds me like when you're icing a cake. <laughs> it kind of has that same kind of consistency. Especially when you're using the spatula. It gives you that whole icing a cake thing. See what I mean? There's just no rush, eh? You just take your time. It looks kind of clear. It looks pretty good. Now one beautiful thing about these types of gels, this happy gel in particular, is you can really perfect it. So you're really hardly filing it at all. I'm just gonna look down here. Sometimes it's hard to see because it's clear. And I like filing, I don't mind filing. But you could make this as perfect as you could possibly get it so that filing is quite brief. Especially if a client doesn't like filing, or if you don't. So I think I'm about ready to nuke it. Okay, let's give it a nuke. Okay, well, there we go. It's rather clear. So I'm just going to take the form off. When I do that, I loosen the sides and then I just pinch the center underneath. So I just give the form a really good pinch and you can see it separate and then you can pull it. Okay, let's form up the next one. I can't wait to try. I think he calls it Princess Pink. Okay, so let's form up the other one so we can try the other color. Forming is quite an art within itself. So if you need any advice on that, I do have a video specifically to forming and I do include it in quite a few of my videos, but you could check out the one specific to it. It is your platform, so you want it to be absolutely right on. If it's not, you might do a good nail, but it'll be in the wrong position and it's gonna be wonky. It's so frustrating. Okay, let me put this guy away. Now these do come with little silver tabs to protect them when they're brand new, but I took them off ahead of time, so I didn't waste time taking them off. Just squeeze it out, and you can see it coming up. Now I'm gonna build a full nail, so I'm gonna get a fair bit, okay? Yeah, it's quite soft. This is a very pretty color. Now, if you know Max's line at all, Princess Pink is a color he does use in the acrylic and a, and a lot of different things. So you will find it very consistent. I'm gonna try an acrylic brush now and use the monomer. And we're gonna use the monomer in the same fashion as we just did the alcohol, just to start shaping. It might be a little easier to see too exactly where I'm going with the shaping, simply because it's a color. Now normally if this was acrylic, I'd be racing to get that lump, or bloop as Jenna calls it, down as fast as I could. But because this is not going to cure on me until I put it under a light, it no matter, I don't have to rush. So I'm just shaping it out toward the end now. I'm creating that arch, the apex, whatever you want to call it. Bloop. That's a really pretty color. I really like it. See the difference between the pink and the clear? I like pink because it really does cover a lot of imperfections on the nail plate. I never ever use clear on the nail plate. I always use a pink of some sort, whether it's a blend that I've made or straight out of someone's jar or tube in this case super pretty. Now technically because this doesn't go anywhere I don't really have to nuke it now because it just sits there. I could just leave it until I nuke them all together, right? If you're a nail technician that's a great tip because it really helps you go a lot faster. Nuking in between does take a lot of time but if you just nuke them all together at the end you don't have to do that. Okay, I'm just gonna look at this down the barrel, make sure I'm happy with them. That looks pretty good. Okay, we're just gonna move on to the next one. 
Okay, so this one, we're gonna do the Eternal Beige. It's a very nice color that Max has developed and it is more of an opaque pink. So if you have a lot of discolorization or any imperfections that you really wanna hide, to me, pigments of pink in acrylic or gel are like foundation. If it's heavier, more pigmented, it can be like foundation and cover any type of flaws. The one we worked here a minute ago is a little bit more see-through. So it's not near as opaque as the one we're gonna use. So I previously had something on my nail bed before and I took it all off and there was a couple little spots that were lifting. That's why you're seeing the different levels of acrylic and right to natural nail. So you're seeing a little bit of difference in color there. My nail is totally fine, it's totally healthy, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just patches of product on there. We're gonna try Eternal Beige. Let's just put it on the nail and see what happens. I'm just gonna squeeze it out and I'm gonna put it on the nail. That works. So I'm gonna use the monomer right here in the pink dish. Let's try it with the gel brush. So I've dipped it in monomer and now I'm gonna push it around again. With the darker color, it does allow you guys to be able to see it a little bit better. Clear is a little bit harder to see. So see how close I'm getting to the cuticle, but I'm not touching the cuticle. That's super, super important. And I'm gonna pull away now. Just gently pulling that product away. I'm kind of flattening at the same time, especially near the cuticle. So I push it toward the cuticle. I'm giving it a gentle, gentle push, right? Getting it down into the area. And then I'm gonna go back to it and gently pull it away. I'm not touching the cuticle either. See how that works? That's the same method with um, doing your liquid to powder ratio as well, your acrylic. It's just you gotta work a little bit faster, a little bit different. Okay, so all I'm doing is shaping it up. I haven't even dipped anymore and it's still working it. So it doesn't really seem to matter, acrylic brush or a gel brush. Whatever you're comfortable in working with, it seems to be very happy. And I don't think it really matters, the monomer or the alcohol. I think the monomer might feel a little smoother, but honestly, you could use either. It's very, very minimal difference. Okay, I'm just gonna give all three of these a nuke together. And then we're going to start filing them up and see how they shape up. So I'm going to wear a mask because I've heard with these new breeds of hybrid gel acrylic, it's a little bit heavier to fall. But I still think there might be a little, you know, airborne finer dust that might travel. So I'm used to wearing a mask. So I'm going to wear a mask. I am going to take a little bit of alcohol and wipe the little bit of a dispersion layer. And you can feel it with your finger. Sometimes I forget it and I'll take the drill and I'll just start doing it. It gets your drill bit all gummy. But just remove that little sticky layer and then you're ready to file. Okay. Got my trusty drill. And you don't want to turn it up too high. You want to make sure you got a right bit. Running it higher does not mean better. Just create a lot of heat and a lot of discomfort for the client. So what I do when I first file, I'm just establishing my shape and my length. I'm gonna do these in almond. So when I'm filing, I am comparing this to what I know, which is mostly acrylic and other hard gels. This is quite a bit softer. Gel is softer anyway than acrylic, that is. So I do find this is quite easy to file. And filing it by hand, I'm sure, is going to be just as easy. So I'm just gonna go over the cuticle and everything just a little bit, and then I'm gonna file it up with my file. It is already shaped where I want it. You almost don't need a drill. So let's just go for it here. Yeah, it files up so nice.
You know, believe it or not, with a softer product like that, that would really cut down on your file time. I mean, I'm almost finished. Just gonna make sure my point comes to that like dolphin point. Dolphin nose, that is. Look at that, it's beautiful. Lovely. Look at that, did not take long at all, does it? Nope. I'm just focusing in this area right here. Just feel like it's a little bit high, so I'm just breezing by there. I can do it with the drill, but it files so easy with a hand file and the files in my hand. So this is a smoothie file by Exclusive Nail Couture, and that just finishes the nail up quite smooth. Still leaves it quite rough, but it's smoothing the whole surface. This is not a shaper. This is more, uh, you shaped it, and now you're just smoothing it. I guess that's why he called it smoothie. <laughs> Okay, well that didn't take long at all. I'd have to time it, I bet you I could do the filing twice as fast. Okay, let's remove some dust and then we're gonna top coat them. A lot of dust can get underneath too. You can also have a client wash their hands too. If you do get a client to wash their hands to remove the dust, just make sure your soap in the bathroom that they're using doesn't have a lot of oils in it because that can interfere with the application of your top coat. So just make sure. You can also use acetone to remove the dust as well. So some alcohols can have a little bit of high content of water in it and that might interfere with the application of your top coat. Okay, let me get my stabilizer. Okay, so get yourself a good top coat. I actually love exclusive nail couture shiny he calls it top coat I love that top coat I will be honest with you I find it very shiny so exclusive nail couture has actually named it quite well okay let's give this a nuke sometimes I can go like that and get all five fingers at once Awesome, let's check out the reveal shots. Happy gel. I love the combination of the acrylic blended with the gel, giving us a new breed of product we can all play with. This stuff is really easy to work with. And I like the fact that I can use it with monomer because I always have monomer kicking around I can use it with. I love it. Thanks for joining me and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.